Hey everyone, welcome back to Finance Homefront with me, Craig. Today, we're diving into a topic that's often at the center of economic debates, the benefits of inflation. But before we jump in, I want to extend a huge thank you for tuning in. As always, I want to emphasize that I'm not providing financial advice, just sharing insights and information. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Now let's explore the intriguing world of inflation and uncover its surprising advantages. Inflation is a highly debated topic in the realm of economics. The term itself carries various meanings depending on the context in which it is used. Many economists, business professionals, and politicians argue that moderate levels of inflation are essential to stimulate consumption as higher spending is often viewed as a crucial driver of economic growth. The Federal Reserve usually aims for a gradual rate of inflation over the long term. They believe that a slowly rising price level keeps businesses profitable and prevents consumers from delaying purchases in anticipation of lower prices. Some even argue that the primary function of inflation is to stave off deflation, which can be far more damaging to an economy. Conversely, there are those who argue that inflation is not only less critical, but also a net detriment to the economy. Increasing prices make it harder for individuals to save money, compelling them to pursue riskier investment strategies to grow or maintain their wealth. Critics claim that inflation can benefit some businesses or individuals at the expense of others. Inflation is often used to describe the impact of rising prices of essential commodities like oil or food on the economy. For instance, if the price of oil jumps from $75 a barrel to $100 a barrel, input costs for businesses and transportation costs for everyone rise. This can cause a ripple effect, leading to increased prices for various goods and services. However, many economists define inflation more precisely. It is considered a function of the supply and demand for money. Essentially, producing more dollars makes each dollar less valuable, causing the general price level to rise. What are the impact of inflation? The primary effect of inflation is a decrease in purchasing power. While the denomination of currency remains the same, inflation means that the same amount of money buys less over time. Although individuals may receive cost of living adjustments in their wages, the impact of inflation is most commonly felt in day-to-day -day expenses like groceries, rent, and other transactions. In response to higher inflation, the Federal Reserve often implements monetary policies that lead to higher federal funds rates. These higher rates have a domino effect influencing various forms of lending and increasing the cost of debt. For example, higher federal funds rates typically result in higher credit card interest rates. Because of the increased cost of debt and higher prices, inflation can slow down the economy. Companies may sell fewer products, leading to reduced corporate profits, layoffs, and financial pressures on households. This cycle of events can culminate in a potential recession. The Federal Reserve attempts to balance controlling inflation and maintaining acceptable levels of unemployment. However, these two objectives often move in opposite directions, and the Federal Reserve's policies can inadvertently risk causing a recession while combating inflation. Let's look at the benefits of inflation when the economy is not operating at full capacity, meaning there is unused labor or resources, inflation can theoretically help increase production. More dollars in circulation translate to more spending, which boosts aggregate demand. Increased demand, in turn, stimulates more production to meet that demand. British economist John Maynard Keynes argued that some inflation is necessary to prevent the paradox of thrift. This paradox suggests that 
if consumer prices are allowed to fall continuously because of overproduction, consumers will delay purchases in anticipation of even lower prices. The net effect is reduced aggregate demand, leading to less production, layoffs, and a weakening economy. Economists once believed in an inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment, positing that rising unemployment could be mitigated with increased inflation. This relationship was famously illustrated by the Phillips curve. However, the Phillips curve lost credibility in the 1970s when the United States experienced stagflation, simultaneous high inflation and high unemployment. Who benefits from inflation? Inflation can be advantageous for debtors who repay their loans with money that is less valuable than when they borrowed it. This encourages borrowing and lending, which further increases spending across all levels. For example, if a debtor owes $10,000 during an inflationary period, that debt becomes less burdensome over time due to the diminishing value of money. Homeowners with long-term fixed rate mortgages can also benefit from inflation. Higher interest rates may push potential buyers out of the market benefiting those in better financial positions as housing market pressures ease. In a slowing economy with inflationary pressures, individuals with secure jobs or tenure are often better positioned than those in less stable or startup roles. Inflation can also affect currency exchange rates, weakening the purchasing power of a country's currency against international currencies. Those holding foreign currency may benefit from favorable exchange rates due to another country's inflation. When inflation is detrimental. For many, the term inflation signifies negative economic conditions. Consumers face rising prices, higher risks of layoffs, and reduced purchasing power. This is particularly challenging for those whose salaries or wages do not increase in line with the cost of living. Prospective buyers trying to make large purchases, like homes, may find themselves priced out of the market during high inflation. As the Federal Reserve raises rates, the cost of debt rises, making new monthly payments unaffordable for many. Inflation also adversely affects consumers tied to fixed economic terms. For instance, workers on fixed term contracts without wage increases and investors with fixed income securities are at a disadvantage. Fixed income securities provide a set return rate, which may be lower than prevailing rates during inflationary periods. Retirees often face significant disadvantages due to inflation. Although Social Security and other government benefits are adjusted for inflation, these adjustments often lag behind actual price increases, forcing retirees to bear the brunt of rising costs. Now, let's look at how the government measures inflation. In the United States, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, releases a monthly report on the Consumer Price Index, CPI, the standard measure of inflation. The CPI is based on the average prices of a basket of consumer goods and services. Let's look at causes of inflation. Milton Friedman famously described inflation as the outcome of too much money chasing too few goods, leading to higher prices. Inflation can result from an increase in the money supply due to government spending or increased demand and shortages of consumer goods. Following the COVID-19 pandemic, inflation surged in the United States, primarily due to supply chain disruptions and emergency government spending, including stimulus checks sent to households, the inflation rate. As of February 2024, the U.S. inflation rate was reported at 3.2%. How to benefit from inflation. There are several ways to benefit from inflation. Investments tied to CPI measurements or prevailing inflation rates can guarantee a nominal return, though the real return may be marginal. Inflation often increases pressure on household spending due to higher prices and the elevated cost of debt. By saving during periods of low inflation, consumers can have greater purchasing power during high inflation periods. 
In conclusion, inflation is a complex and often controversial subject. For some, it is a necessary component of economic growth, while for others, it is a source of financial hardship. The government's response to inflation, typically involving interest rate hikes, can slow the economy and increase the risk of recession. During inflationary periods, some individuals and businesses may benefit, while others face greater financial challenges. Understanding the multifaceted nature of inflation can help individuals navigate its effects and potentially leverage opportunities it presents. 